Hey everybody, Coach Brian Klepecki here at CriticalBench.com, certified strength coach, and I'm giving you the best activation exercises for the core, the glutes, the chest, the back, the brain, you name it. This is the video for you to watch. So muscle activation, what exactly is it? It's pretty simple. You're activating muscles by doing certain specific exercises for certain specific muscle groups. So now there's things you need to know about muscle activation. First, you want to make sure that you do them pre-workout. So that means you're going to do a normal dynamic warm-up, and then you're going to intentionally warm up the muscle groups that you're about to train. So for instance, if you're going to do a chest workout, you want to make sure that you're doing chest activation exercises to properly activate the chest muscles to prepare you for the movement. So when you're going through these activation exercises, again, go slow and controlled, maybe do everything two times, 10 to 15 reps. Now if you're going for holds, five to 10 seconds per hold, really activating and concentrating on the squeezing that muscle being used. Now you can also use things like resistance bands, you can use uh, walls, you can use uh, weights to help activate the muscles being used. Now before we go any further, just make sure again, you gotta take your time with these. And I guarantee if you do these properly, you're gonna do better lifts, you're gonna be stronger, and you're gonna excel a lot faster than you would if you didn't warm up properly. So let's start from the head to toe. We're gonna work from the brain first, and then work down to the lower body. So brain activation exercises. There's three things that you need to know about brain act activation exercises. One, they work your brain, uh, duh. But two, they actually help improve your fitness and also your wellness and also maybe your work or your attitude. The top three brain activation exercises are simple. One is being doing word games, Sudoku, uh, crossword puzzles, things that will challenge your mind and challenge your thought process. Uh, card games, uh, online uh, games that uh, have to do with numbers and colors and things like that. The second one is to change up your routine. Just like you would in your workout, your body will adapt to a certain routine and plateau. The same thing will happen in, in outside of your workout. If you go through the same motions day in, day out, your brain is not being stimulated enough to actually start improving your mental capacity. So change up the way you go to work. Change up how you uh, go to sleep at night. Uh, do something out of the ordinary, out of your comfort zone to really wake up your brain and, and use your true potential. The last one, the last of the brain act activation exercises is intermittent fasting. Take a break from a meal, uh, skip a meal, but be intentional about it because what happens is, one, you're gonna be hungry, but two, your brain's gonna associate that with starvation and will, a lot of cool things will start happening within the body from the effect of that fasting period. So when you intermittent fast, it could be 12 hours, it could be 16, 24 hours, you decide that and go to your level of comfort, but again, be intentional with these three exercises and your brain will start firing and you'll, you'll be amazed at the improvements you'll see in your mental game. So we just covered the brain, now we're gonna go to the chest and here are the top three chest activation exercises that you need to do to really, really hit those, uh, the, those pec muscles, to fire those muscles properly when you're doing your chest workout. All right, so we just covered the chest, now we gotta work on the back. So these are the top three lat activation exercises that you need to do, again, to wake up your lat muscles before you start work. The first one being a wall press back. The second one being an isometric straight arm resistance band pull. And the last, but definitely not least, is a what I call is an armless Superman hold. Again, these three exercises are gonna wake up those lats and prepare them for battle. So here's the wall press back. It doesn't look like I'm doing anything, but what I'm doing is pushing my hands against the wall, trying to push the wall away from my body.
So we just covered the chest, we just covered the back, now we're going to go to the midsection or your core. And we're also going to be activating your TVA, your, your obliques, your rectus abdominis. So everything in the midsection, you're going to be activating through these three moves. The first exercise might be a yoga move, but whatever you want to call it, it's a cat-cow stretch. I love this exercise because it really opens up your core, your diaphragm, and also your spine. The second one being bird dogs. So this is going to be on an all fours quadruped position. And the last but not least core activation exercise is a hollow rock. These are the three exercises that you need to, need to do to wake up the core and also wake up all the surrounding muscles within that core. So now let's move away from the core and the midsection. We're going to go into the hips and the glutes area. These are the top five exercises because they're kind of intertwined, so we're going to throw in a couple extra for you. The top five hip and glute activation exercises. The first one, the first exercise, you're going to be using a resistance band. We're going to be doing some band walks. That's going to be your first exercise. Second exercise is a glute bridge using a foam roller, and we're going to actually squeeze in applying inward pressure on that foam roller. The third exercise is a glute bridge to a knee pull. So number four is going to be your donkey kick and coming in fifth is your clamshell going back to using this resistance band. So there you have it. These are the five hip and glute activation exercises. So here they are. There you go, you just you warmed up and activated your glutes and hips and now we're gonna be going talking about the VMO. So the VMO is one of those muscles that's not normally woken up through a normal dynamic movement. This is a very important uh, muscle that you have to use properly in order to get the most out of your lower body work. So if you're not familiar with the VMO is, it's a vastus medialis oblique. So this is on the, think of your quad or your, your, your thigh. It's on the inside of your leg closest to the knee. So if you look down, it's kind of like that teardrop shape in that lower quadricep. This is a muscle, like I said, it's very inhibited. It's very restricted because it's not activated or used a lot throughout the day. So I have two exercises to show you on how to properly activate your VMO. So the first exercise to activate your VMO is a single leg star reach or star drill. The second one is a, re a band activated squat. So again, these two exercises are great to activate your VMO.
So I know that was a whole bunch of information on muscle activation, on how to warm up and activate muscles ready for movement. So the main thing is you, you got to activate your muscles if you really care about improving your performance. And also it helps reduce the chance of injury. Now before you take off and close this video, we'd love to share something with you. It's a report that we wrote on muscle activation and also stretching. Now the report is called Why Stretching Won't Make You Flexible. That's right, it won't make you flexible. Read the report and find out why. So in order to get the report, you need to click this box here, give us your email and we'll send you a copy of it right away. If you're on, on a mobile device, you can't click this box, but what you can do is there's a little arrow under this video here. Open up, or click that arrow, open up the video description area, and that top link you'll see is criticalbench.com slash stretch. Click that link, again, give us your email, and we'll send you a report right now. Uh, like us, share us, also leave us some feedback. Or maybe you have a question about something we discussed. Or if you have a suggestion for an upcoming video, I'd love to hear about it. Also subscribe to our channel, check out our other videos, and also keep watching us because we have, we punch out videos almost daily. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Have a good day.